All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. Episode number three. Hope everybody are doing fan freaking fantastic today. I've been collecting, uh, been continuing to collect some more wood. Back to back Hermitcraft, as promised, for all of those of you who are uh, heavy Fullcraft fans, you will have to give Hermitcraft an extra day. Hermitcraft's a new series, we do this quite a bit on the on the uh, on the channel here <laughs> i've been i've been scared for the from these salmons today dudes uh it's time for us to get a proper little starting base uh or start the real base i suppose you could say because we do have a little starting base with our boat that we live in but i would rather have a i think it's so important when you start a new world in minecraft to like get a storage room set up a proper one uh, and stuff like that because it just at least it makes me a lot happier to play the game. Uh, so I've been looking around here in the glacier biome and it's huge. That's what she said. But it's massive. That is what she... Okay. Uh, and like what I want to do, I think over the course of this season, I would like to transform this entire place together with some other hermits, as you may or may not know, uh, into like a wonderful um, piratey fantasy place. There will be a scallium. There may be bumbles. <laughs> we shall see. There will definitely be bumbles. I don't leave a friend behind. But um, I think as far as like storage rooms and farms and stuff, I'm going to try and... Hello? Oh, there's a trident guy here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can I get that? Can I... Yeah, I want that trident. Please. Mr. Scallium Zombie. It's so buggy when you swim. I really want the trident far or trident. Yes, okay. And things will float up. No trident. Crap. Yeah, where were I? <laughs> I want to try and build inside the glaciers. Um, and I think that will look really cool. It will be half underwater and half overwater, uh, which also honors the uh, the new update. So, like I said, I've been looking around here, and I found a place, I think it's over this way. I just wanted to check that out. I don't like seeing the savannah in the background, though. Savannah and glacier doesn't really feel like they're fit, if you know what I mean. One is cold, one is warm. But I think it's over this way, because this is where we have our boat. Or no, you know what? This is not the way either. Let's have a look over here first, though. This is closer to the hermit, uh, hermit lands. Um, and I guess the first thing we are going to build is, like, the our... Our storage room. Yeah, this place looks cool as well. But you can see Hermit Lance over there. We may want to build a bridge there eventually. I know Rendog has some plans for uh, for public transportation system. Hopefully I didn't spoil that. Hopefully he's already said it. Evil Azuma has joined the game. Uh-oh. Yeah, we got full house here today. Maybe it's over this way. I found something. I promise I found something. <laughs> oh yeah, I think it's this way. Yeah. Look at that blue eye stuff there. Don't particularly like that. I don't want to make too much changes to the to the terrain here, though. I'd rather enhance it. Um, but yeah, this is the place. This is the place right here. This mountain with the little snow on top there. How cool isn't that looking? I love it. And then we got all this, like, big lake around it. Really, really cool looking. So... <clears throat> oh, there is... Oh, this is already... This is already besieged. <laughs> I guess there's a stress over here then. Okay. Hmm. Yep, this is totally already taken by her. Okay. Crap. That's that's funny though. Great minds think alike. I wanted to live or I wanted to start inside this huge glacier mountain thing. Uh, I thought that would have been perfect, but so did she. <laughs> so, okay. All right. Is that another Oh, that's another savanna over there. Hmm. <laughs> That's funny though. I could have by mistake started digging on that side there. <laughs> I had not seen that. <laughs> that would have been so funny. Okay, let's let's continue to check over here then. So the glacier seems to be surrounded with savanna biomes and desert biomes, which to me is a bit weird <laughs> because Minecraft's been pretty good at making the biomes fit together climate-wise. But look at this. This is a very hot savanna versus this thing here. I'm assuming that this uh, village has been raided already. Uh, maybe we should... Nah, we... Nah, it's been raided. It's been... Oh, another turtle! 
Another couple of turtles. How do you get their tur- Oh wow, there's a turtle population on this island. We have reached Turtle Isle. Arr. <laughs> so I'm kind of wondering if I can make it work being a frozen over place, pirate frozen over place with the savanna and the desert in the background. It feels kind of rough, but the only real place where that's not in the background is where stress is already set up. So I think we'll have to. And I did find a mountain over here that has the desert in the background, but that looks really cool. Yeah, check this out. That's my crafting bench there, by the way. Check this place out. This place looks pretty good. I don't love the fact that there's so much ice on the floor here because I do like um, being able to see the edge of the glacier like that. But look at how close that desert is. That's ah, oh, that's so weird. It really bothers me. I'm sorry, dudes, but it really bothers an Iskal who wants to build here. Wait a minute. Is this another ocean monument? Oh my goodness, there's another ocean monument. This is not the same. What? That's amazing. <laughs> After investigating the entire glacier, uh, there's not really any place except the one mountain that fits the things that I, that I wanted. But there are definitely some places that are great as well. Oh, now I now I'm kind of wondering. No, that's over where the savanna was. Yeah, you see, I don't want to I don't want to do this and then change my mind. But I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I think this is the place for us. Uh, we do have a desert to deal with in the background, but that could be like treasure pirate islands, um, which I really do like. And I think this ice will probably have to go, although I'd love to do this with silk touch. Um, but yeah, this ice will probably have to go so that we can see the, the beautiful glacier hanging down. And I wonder... I'm assuming that there's glacier behind this gravel stuff. Oh, and that's not even a shovel. <laughs> I was like, that's taking a lot of time. Yeah, there's glacier behind that. So, ooh, and an underwater cave. I like this. I like this. So, eventually, we can remove this stuff once we have a beacon and respiration and that kind of stuff. Um, so, I think this is a great place. The only problem with it, then, is the backside to it. Or the background. Let's dig straight through the glacier. Oh, it's solid ice. I should really have a silk touch before I start this, but... Yeah, it's actually quite quite some uh, space and then oh nice. Okay, there's a oh this is cool Look at this Wow, 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 wow just that view right there. Oh my goodness so many things comes to mind right now <laughs> This is great. This is our mountain. There are many mountains like this, but this one here this one is ours or glacier so I wonder if we want to do like a uh, like an entrance. Yeah, let's let's start by let's start by by trying to say that this here is the it's gonna be the entrance. And then eventually we'll clear this ice and make maybe an ice bridge or something. Um so if this is the entrance to the base, I would like to is this the blue ice or is that the packed ice? I I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, dudes, look at this. Is this is this packed ice and this is normal ice? Yeah, it may be. We can craft this stuff now. We definitely need to create an ice farm ASAP. Uh, okay, so uh, we don't have much material, but let's start talking a little bit about the materials we do want to use. We can now access these fantastic acacia uh, bark things, which means that acacia is just going to be so much greater. <laughs> so much greater. Um, but I'm thinking, I think acacia and ice goes very well together very well together. So that's definitely going to be a thing. And maybe shape this down. This reminds me a little bit about starting my Hermitcraft 4 Season 4 base. Where I also used a lot of Akesha. It is my favorite log, I think. And that looks a bit weird there, but that's that's okay for now. And then we're definitely going to use stone and cobblestone and smooth stone. And I want it to look rough. Um, but I also wanted to make make it so that like it's a frozen over place. Look at those colors together. Already that is great. That is great already. All right, dudes, I'm so very excited about what can be done here. And it's also very scary because every block I break, I can't replace when it's ice. <laughs> so that's a thing. But uh, um, a little bit of a start. We, we get an entrance going. We use acacia to hold up the ice is the idea. 
And I think I want to use some smooth stone here because I want to have a staircase um, over here. And I don't know how to do staircases with this place. Maybe we should just like... Yeah, because I want to go down and then like build a storage room down in that in the glacier there, if that makes sense. <laughs> Probably it doesn't make any sense. But uh, smooth stone may may work these stone slabs i never ever use them normally but and for now i'm just filling in the ice that i want to replace with ice with uh with the uh, sandstone yeah it doesn't look great with the blue it doesn't look great but hey did they give us any more slabs and stairs they gave us prismarine i guess prismarine would work but i don't have any prismarine yet let's try what happens if we bring spruce into this area as well because that's definitely something we want to do anyway. Yeah, that looks that looks better. But if we do that, then the entire floor would probably be spruce. Which I guess makes sense. Oh, I kind of want to try that now. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to look so good. So freaking good. And then we keep the majority of the walls just ice and held up. And well, of course, once we have ice and snow and stuff available... We can texturize it with the different types of ice, like normal ice, packed ice, all that stuff. But I do like this very, very much. It goes so well with the blue, it goes well with the acacia. Looks beautiful. And then there are the... Yes, there are the bark. There is the bark. Whew. Whew. May seem like I'm overexcited, but it's, it's natural for a Minecraft player to be excited over any new block. That actually has a color that works. <laughs> We've gotten so many new blocks that like I just feel the color or is wrong on and just saturate saturated wrong or whatever. Um, but this is these are these are great. These are great. I didn't realize this, but inside the glaciers, yeah, there we go. <laughs> inside these glaciers, trying to dig them out is actually not the easiest task because water leaks. Uh, <laughs> So I am essentially clearing like part of the ocean, I guess. There's uh, there is uh, water holes everywhere inside. Uh, as you can see here inside these uh, <laughs> inside these glaciers. So it's taking me quite a bit of time to dig just because I have to do this. Oh my goodness! Even more. Yep. Some of these are like five water source blocks. Some of these are just one water source block. And uh, yeah. It's taken some time, but I am so inspired. It's crazy to just be building with ice. Oh, it's gonna be good. <laughs> so I got a little bit of a of a of a plan here or a, or a base coming along as a plane passes through me outside. So we got the entrance. We saw that, and I brought some fern ice over. Then I decided I opened up to this like middle piece, and we can do some fun thing with this. Uh, I'm very cautious about breaking too much ice though, because <clears throat> like I've said, I can't replace it. And I'm not going to go super strict with what goes where. And I don't even know if I like having these here or if we'll just go like, like that. This reminds me a lot about Hermitcraft Season 4, but I love that base and I know a lot of you dudes did as well. Then maybe we'll take this layer away. It doesn't seem like the water, uh, ha like there's any water pockets if you're above the water level though. Um, but we're not gonna be just above the water level uh, But anyway, so we'll have that and then this can go up there and I guess we'll Make an overlay here boop, 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 Like so and then we come down here and this is what I want to be This is where I want to put my storage room and I made sure to not go too far down here because I want I want this room to be both above and below the surface Um and then I dug all the way out to the ocean. Now this glacier is obviously very, like it's round shaped. So um, I don't know how I want to do with the windows. I put down some normal glass for now. I think it looks pretty cool like that. Uh, that being said though, I, I'd have to do it a little bit better. But here's why I want this ice gone. Is because like I want to be able to see this from above and see the lights from within the glacier. I think it's going to be super, super sweet. Um, and we can always like, Patch this back together later and put put down some of the ice blocks that we want. Oh man, that's sweet already. Okay, get rid of that. Uh, and now, yeah, that glass there doesn't look great, does it? So <laughs> we'd probably have to bring that in. 
one layer. But you see what I, what kind of what I mean. And I brought the acacia over because it turns out that I'm actually super far away from my. Uh, <laughs> this is on the other side of the glacier biome, and I didn't realize that as I was as I was exploring. Uh, but I think I want to go. I want to go more this way, and I'm also trying to. I think I'm gonna keep the ceiling being, being ice, but we'll have like. Hmm, how are we gonna do this? Let's try an acacia guy sitting there. I don't want to have it. I don't want to be super symmetrical and strict with with my building pattern because I always tend up to become super strict in that. Uh, and the other problem is we don't have too much decorative blocks at the moment available to us, so. We can't do a whole lot, but maybe maybe this ceiling height is actually good enough. Makes it feel more cozy, and then obviously what we'll do, and this will be much easier when we have access to ice, is that we'll punch like, we'll make it feel as it's been dug out roughly and, you know, not just a straight roof. And so for example, not going super symmetric here, we may just have a an acacia barrier like there holding the ice up and another one here and this would be sort of like in the middle of the room that that one there I think it's gonna look really cool but we do need the room a little bit bigger and for now this room is gonna serve to be our uh, very first like basic storage room we I need some chests I need some labels some signs uh, and that kind of stuff and my diamond pickaxe is almost broke as well so <clears throat> I'm gonna have to create another one. I do have 12 diamonds left though, so we're good. But you can see the water pockets. It's <laughs> it is what it is. Then for the floor in here, uh, I would like to do something different than just spruce, but I'm not sure what that different would be. How does gravel look? Oh, gravel has that new, yeah, gravel has the new purplish uh, look to it. The andesite is terrible right now. But it does go pretty well with the ice, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, andersite doesn't look bad with that texture with the acacia. But I think this andersite is gonna change, so I'm a little bit scared of using it. There's also smooth stone that I cooked up. Um, this is not a bad mix, actually. Hmm, I really like that mix. Although, like I said, I think the andersite is gonna change. I don't think that's the permanent texture. So I'm not sure if I should use it or we could just go with the spruce. The spruce will make it feel a lot warmer in here um, And we're going with it here, but we could also have have the spruce like change here So this will be more like a rough Rough dugout cave and then yeah, you get the idea You get the idea. I usually like to mix in dirt with my spruce floor when it's like rough But I don't think dirt is fitting with the ice uh, Oh, we could have a cache in it, but then, yeah, yeah. All right, we better we better retire our uh, diamond pickaxe anyway, as we do every every season. I think we've done it both seasons anyway that I've been part of Hermitcraft. Uh, I want to save the very first pickaxe and put it somewhere special later, but for now we'll put it in there. Nice. The more I've been digging down here and building, uh, the more I've realized that I definitely want to grab some more gravel. And that's scary because last season I dug out over a hundred thousand bits of gravel for all the concrete. But uh, anyway, dudes, I've been testing out some different things. I'm trying to use stuff and design things that I haven't used before. And we got these new trapdoors now, so I put them up here. Uh, and this was basically what I wanted. I wanted a basic storage uh, storage grid here. And because chests can now stack next to each other, I, which I think is fantastic, I'm going to stack them like this. This one can be food <laughs> once I have some food, which I don't. And I really like the, like, the rural feeling of this. Um, I don't know, though. Like, is there another wood type? I wish there was, like, gray planks. Oh, that would be so good. Just like the acacia. And... With that being said, like, that's why I'm thinking that maybe gravel is, is prettier. I love having, like, uh, a layer of spruce and then coming down to another layer where it's, like, yeah, basement, basement-styled area. Uh, and also, there's a lot more space this way, probably. Because um, I, I was picturing when I, <laughs> when I started this project <coughs> earlier today, I was picturing having, like, a big window out to the ocean. Uh, but that didn't really happen because... Uh, I can't can't find my stuff already. <laughs> it didn't really happen because this room is like a cylinder, right? So We'll probably be digging out 
more space here. I would like to... Oh my goodness. I would like to see how far we have to go. Alright, so there's... There's one of the uh, entry ways. Probably do like a little furnace area in here. Because I, I essentially want the fart room um, to, <laughs> to start this off. I don't have any more resources though. I'm going to have to move over the last of my stuff from the boat. Um, but I was thinking maybe we could have some furnaces chilling in these two things. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And I'm trying to, to like use the style that I love the most in Minecraft, which includes a lot of wood. It's inclu uh, it includes a lot of like medieval fantasy stuff, I, I suppose. Um, uh, utilizing that and utilizing the ice for the walls. And once we have snow and normal ice, we can, uh, we can design this further, which is really cool. And there may also be some like cyan concrete. No, not concrete. Cyan clay that may work very well with this. I'm not sure. But yeah, like I said, we are <laughs> we are not freaking rich yet, dudes. We don't have anything. Uh, let's make another chest here for... Let's take this one for botanic, botanic stuff. And then I guess we'll just do one for garbaccio. <laughs> we can put our plants in here. And... Um, this will just help me get uh, get started a little bit quicker. Uh, anyway, I want to take a break from the building now. And before we end today's episode, I want to do another little project here today. I would like to uh, find, or I would like to, I would like to create a snow farm. I think snow is going to be very important uh, in this, uh, in this, like in the entirety of the build that we're going to make. And it's like one of the easiest and simplest farms to make. I don't care so much for easy as I care for uh, what's possible to do with the resources we have. So um, we're going to need to go on a little bit of an expedition. I guess I can move these as well. We're going to need to go on a little bit of an expedition. We need to find pumpkin. And I don't know how hard that is going to be because I only see warm biomes around except for the glacier. And I don't know if... Do, do pumpkins spawn in... Let's think. Vanilla Minecraft. I think we need to find... Yeah, I think we need to find like a, a, a taiga biome, right? I'm not even sure. <laughs> Ooh, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Let's put this glass block here. And one there. Cool. Yeah, so we're going to need to go on a little bit of an expedition anyway. Long story short. And you know what? I had two creepers in here before and I almost... Uh, they almost blew up eyes for me, so that's not great. All of this cobblestone stuff, by the way, we're gonna obviously remove and, and put, like, plug it in with ice is the idea. But, um, oh, actually saying that, Doc has wanted us to not sleep. I hope that's okay now that we can sleep. I think he's working on some kind of farm. I would absolutely think that this has been raided already, but this is actually right next to my base here, and I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> and hopefully... The best thing would be if it wasn't looted and we found pumpkin seeds. Oh, that's a sign. Yeah. Hermits are so freaking quick at exploring. Alright, I, I would think that like probably around 2,000 blocks have already been discovered. I think I see pumpkins. Does pumpkins spawn in savannah biomes? <gasps> they do! I did not know that! What? Oh, oh look at that! There's a dolphin jumping! Okay, we are totally catching... Uh, like uh, dolphins, scallium, so there's so many mobs that I wanna that I wanna try and play around with this season. But this is awesome. So maybe I didn't have to walk this far. I'm actually quite far away from from home. Ooh, there's a village as well. Is there anything here for me? It doesn't look like it. Uh, we could always check if there's a. Oh, they've changed this as well. I think cartographer. Could always check if there's like a um, mending trader was what I was gonna say. <laughs> that is so expensive though. But hey, you, sir, uh, will have a new home. And I don't have enough blocks to block your little face up there. My favorite biome in the whole of Minecraft is the Savannah Hills. And I'm already feeling like, oh, maybe, maybe I should have lived here. In the savannah hills behind the glacier. <laughs> it's so beautiful. But nope. We're going with the blue. We're going with the uh, with the glacier. Because that I've never done. I have lived in a savannah uh, hill and in a savannah, I think. Even in a YouTube series. Long time ago, though. Long time ago. 
I'm gonna need to get home, so this is some some wood to get <laughs> to get home. But good to know that there is uh, coarse dirt here. Should we need it? Grian was Grian was slayed by a phantom. Ouch. GG Brian 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 Brain. What? <laughs> so if you okay. Is something happening to my bolt here? Oh, we're bobbing! Look at that! Oh, and there's a ravine here! Okay, this is right right next to our, to our mountain here. I like it. Can you create that on your own? I wonder. I want to know if you can create that on your own. Um, by the way, thank you guys for telling me that normal zombirds when drowning, like this skele skelebot is, turns into this gallium zombie. So there is actually a way to create drowned zombies. Uh, AKA is gallium zombirds, which is fantastic to know. I'm gonna need some snow as well for this uh, farm build that we're gonna make. I wonder, I could just, could just nick some from up there, I guess. Wow, snowballs look so weird in this texture pack. <laughs> They look like ice blue. Weird. Okay. All right. Now, <clears throat> I am a little bit worried that there is something wrong with the glacier biome. Uh, because we did start this world in a pre-release. Uh, and because, like, there's so much savanna and stuff, I hope this is treated as a cold biome. But we're about to find out. Uh, I'm going to want to find a place to build this as well. I think I may just build... I think I may just build a snow farm... Like, right outside here for now. I don't have a lot of resources, though. Alright, let's see if we can figure this out. I decided to put it in this little uh, corner here for now. We're gonna use the me method that I think Etho is using uh, in his Let's Play world. I think that's where I've seen this. Uh, and I haven't actually built it myself in a very long time. So, I may mess up here. But, um, oops, and I did mess up that. Essentially... We want to be digging snow from this block here and then push the minecart with a hopper. It's going to be our collection thing. I think I'm going to go down one level though. Feels like that would be the safer bet here. Um, the minecart with the hopper will be on the same level collecting the uh, the uh, the stuff for us, the snowballs. And we have to use a stone background so we don't break it with our shovel. Uh, where did I put this guy? So let's put this guy right here hopper minecart boop for now and break you very nice um this would be a wall and then you used to be able to do something like this um let's break this as well actually <laughs> i'm trying to remember how to build one of these as i as i'm doing it here you used to be able to do this and then spawn a snowman let's say here and push him into that little hole there. Oh, is that not a thing anymore? Wait a minute. Oh, you know what I think it is? I think we need to shear... Shear the pumpkin. <laughs> because pumpkins have now have a lot of different things. If I do that and... Yeah, there we go. There's a jacko lantern Without the lantern. Just a carved pumpkin. So is this how I do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. So can we still push him into that little hole of the iron bars? Yes. Good. And why is he not spawning any snow? Because if we do this now, he should be spawning snow on this block here. Why is there no snow coming out of your butt, dude? <laughs> is it so that this is not a hot bi- uh, that this is not a cold biome? What is this biome even called? Frozen Ocean. Okay, back on Hermitcraft now. I didn't find a frozen, uh, whatever this is called, frozen ocean. 
Uh, I want to try one more thing here and see if he melts. If he's outside. No. So there is... Uh, I don't know if they melt in the night, actually. Nope. Look at him. Look at him go. <laughs> look at him float. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, Mojang. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's one spot here that's deep frozen ocean. Look at this. <laughs> Over there. So I came here to break the... Uh... Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I'm sorry, dude. I'm gonna have to kill you. So we could get it to work here. I came here to take this down to put it up somewhere else. Luckily, I yeah, look at that. Deep frozen ocean here and just and here as well. The only spot where it isn't frozen is or deep is where we were <laughs> where we were testing it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so if I Hmm. That's not gonna look great there though, is it? Oh why are you not doing it now? Come on, man! Deep frozen, deep frozen, deep frozen. It's frozen over here. Why are you not doing the thing? Is it because this Oh, oh, of course, but of course, okay. Yeah, I messed up. It needs to be like this. Otherwise <laughs> Maybe that was the issue all along. Oh, I'm so stupid. You guys are face bombing. But basically if this works the minecart should be able to pick this snow up and it seems to be missing quite a bit of it But it's also picking up. Yeah, it's picking up a lot of it as well um, If I push this over a little bit like to there then it would probably be better. Yes. Nice. So now we can just go here and harvest as much snow as we want. That should be coming into the chest. Sweet. So maybe I messed up from the beginning. And you know what? We we want to we want to find out. But I did spawn them on the I may have just spawned them on the ice. So this is a frozen ocean and boop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. My bad. I just spent the last hour trying to research this. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry dudes, but anyway, we got our uh, snow farm going. I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit that out <laughs> But uh, we got our snow farm going. It's working beautifully. Make sure you don't place the iron bar on the bottom there You guys will probably face palming because you're elite Minecraft players, obviously <laughs> I'm sorry for messing that up and That will be working great. We'll put a slab a slab you can actually yeah We'll put a slab over top of the chest, maybe even on this side, so that the minecart won't move. And we can still open it, nice. And uh, that that will be good. So dudes, um, the collection for resources have started. We got ourselves a little workshop room, I'm very happy with it. Uh, let me know what you, what you guys uh, think down below in the comments. I've seen all the Viking comments, uh, so thank you for, for that. We will try and include the whole Viking theme a little bit as well. But I am, I am sold on the whole deep frozen pirates for now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you dudes have enjoyed. Have a fan fantastic evening and I'll see you dudes in the next episode.